Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we are talking about all things weddings and COVID-19. It seems like those two things shouldn't go together, but they totally can and we have found a great way to be able to create amazing, cool, gorgeous wedding cakes on a budget even with a small guest count. And today we're gonna to show you how to do it. So hang out with us and we're gonna help you cake it till you make it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Becky. I'm a self-taught cake artist and entrepreneur, and I am so passionate about helping other people to learn how to decorate cakes, have fun with their families, and even create a fun home-based side hustle with a cake business. And today we are starting some of our business basics, and we're gonna talk about weddings and COVID-19. Okay, so if you are a baker, if you own your own business, then COVID-19 has probably just been total crap for your schedule all year long, right? I mean, I have a huge successful wedding cake business and I've had so many weddings that got canceled, they got postponed, or they got cut down to super small sizes and small guest counts of 30 to 50 people when they were supposed to be 100 or 150 or 250. And that really stinks for my business. Like, for real, y'all, that's terrible. Um, and then I feel so bad too for my brides because it's like, brides that are going through this, I am so sorry because I can't even imagine how hard it is. You're trying to, you know, design and come up with a plan for the most important day of your life so far. And a international pandemic has just ruined it. So, you know, that's terrible, seriously. So we recently got to take part in a super fun local reality TV show. It's called Renee's Bridal Takeover. It's local to Central Kentucky and all of the episodes are actually on YouTube now. So I've got links in the description box. You totally want to check this out. Renee is an incredible renowned wedding dress designer and she's been featured on like TLC and Up Network and she is a dear, dear friend and we love working with her. So the opportunity that she gave us was crazy so for this TV wedding we were doing you know the super over-the-top kind of theme and you know they can only keep about 50 or so guests at this wedding and obviously a cake for 50 people is pretty small okay it ain't big and there there is nothing like wow look at this tiny cake like that's not that's not a wow showstopper right so we decided to come up with a few little tricks and we actually made a fake cake so our cake was actually styrofoam it was a kind of display cake that you would see like at a bridal show or in the store window of a bakery so we fully decorated this cake so we could have a big, huge, grand cake. And actually only one little place in the back was cut out that had real cake in it so they could do their, you know, official cutting of the cake. And then we did pre-boxed slices of cake for all of their guests. So we were being very COVID-19 friendly, right? All of the cake slices were pre-boxed in our studio before we went to the wedding. And so we, those were set out and each guest could just take a box, take it back to their seat, take it home with them, whatever. Everybody still got to eat cake and the big grand masterpiece center of the reception got to stay standing. And let me tell you, it was gorgeous. Probably one of my favorite cake designs I've ever made. No joke, <laughs> for real. Okay, so the idea of doing a fake cake ended up being genius. I mean, seriously, let's think about it. Not every bride has a budget for a humongous cake, right? Not every bride even has a guest count for a huge cake, but sometimes it's like the venue really dictates what the cake needs to be, right? I mean, I always tell people, if you're getting married and your reception is in a big, huge ballroom with super high ceilings, don't have a little two or three tiered cake because it's gonna look small and squatty and terrible in that space, no matter how beautifully it's decorated. Okay, you need something tall and towering. And so that's why I've always offered the opportunity to do like fake display tiers in there. Because let's be honest, when a cake is fully decorated, people can't tell the difference on if it's fake or if it's real. They just can't, they can't tell the difference. And so adding in some foam tiers can give your cake height, 
and more dimension and more grandeur and it just looks awesome and you're not stuck with a bunch of extra cake that you don't need. So the whole idea of doing the fake cake for the TV wedding worked beautifully. I mean, it was so perfect. So I ended up meeting with another couple who was just getting married in a few weeks. They'd had to change all of their plans, change a wedding that was supposed to be in North Carolina to Kentucky. And they were really just trying to fly through and get their details done. And for them, they had a lot of older family and older guests. And so they wanted to be super careful because of COVID-19. So we suggested doing the fake cake and the pre-box slices and they loved that idea. And let me tell you, it was perfect again because it was in a gorgeous room and actually in a castle that we had because we have castles in Kentucky, y'all. You maybe you didn't know, but we do. So it was in this castle, it was in this gorgeous room and the cake just fit perfectly. It was so beautiful. And listen, nobody knew the difference. Nobody knew that it was a fake cake. They still got to go over there. They got to cut the cake and have their bite. All of their guests received their pre-box slices. Everybody was happy and it was beautiful. So listen, if you're a baker like me, then you're probably tired of tiny little cakes, right? Everybody wants the same old design, the same textured buttercream or naked cake. And there's nothing wrong with those designs. They're beautiful and they certainly have their place, but if you have a bride who wants something a little more over the top or a little more grand, then there's no reason for her to have a super tiny cake, right? Let her have a big grand cake. Give her a fake cake, box up some slices and make those people happy. <laughs> now listen, if you're a bride watching this video, you can totally use this idea. Take this idea and give it to your baker. Send them this video and tell them, listen, I know I'm only having 30 people or 50 people or 60 people, but I still want to have a beautiful grand cake and let them create something that's going to be gorgeous in your space and still safe for you and all of your guests. So like if you're having a smaller wedding, why not spend more money on the details, right? Why not have really grand decor and, you know, flowers and cake and food because just because you're only having, you know, 50 people, doesn't make them any less important than you know the 200 people you originally wanted to have for a wedding right i mean seriously i mean if they're the 50 people who made the cut they must be pretty important <laughs> okay so is the whole fake cake and pre-box slices of cake is that going to be the newest trend in the cake community i don't know i mean maybe it'd be a cool trend right but maybe not but the thing is right now we're in the middle of a pandemic right we don't know when life is going to get back to normal we don't know if there's going to be a old normal maybe it's going to be a new normal we don't know but why not take advantage of this opportunity right offer your brides offer your clients a more grand cake give them the opportunity to have something beautiful and gorgeous and give yourself as a caker as an artist the opportunity to create something grand and wonderful and gorgeous without the constraints of being like they only need 30 servings of cake well who cares if they only need 30 servings of cake pop up some extra tiers give them a big four tier cake that would normally have 125 or 150 servings it doesn't all have to be real that is totally okay. Everybody gets happy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I really hope that you got some inspiration and some ideas on how you can grow your business even in the midst of these crazy times. Now I put links in the description box below of all the goodies that I use for these two gorgeous cakes. Everything from sugar flowers and molds to fondant and colors. It's all down there. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get a heads up every time we post a new video. Happy caking!